say is like finding a needle in a haystack. You want to translate? Yeah, I got it. Dikhu nazariyat. Fikat kif tilgul mahlabita al dahab. Wa kawna tilga dahab. يعني بيضرب مثل بأنه الذهب يعني تلقاه كأنه في إبرة 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 بخيط بادي في في كمية من المخطوطة في تراب يعني. However, there are certain haystacks that are more likely to have the needle in them. لكن في محلات ممكن تلقى فيها ال ضرب برضو المثل بال بالإبرة. بكل سهولة أكثر من محلات تانية. The reason an area like this is important, and I realize you said that this is a French mining, but that's okay. It's good for my purpose of instructing you. This is what's called. At one time, this was a contact zone. Good. ااا المحلة دي ده هو عارف إنه دي محلة فرنسية وما بنقدر نشتغل فيها لكن داري وريكم بس يضرب لكم بيع مثال و. في وقت من الأيام كانت هي عبارة عن جبال عالية وهسه بقت منخفضة وفيها مجرى بتاع موية يعني. Millions of years ago, when this area was formed through volcanic activity, the earth was undergoing a lot of change. This was molten. This was lava. Okay, it was it was a hot rock. This this was liquid as well okay but this was like glass okay what happened because of the pressure of the earth up first comes granite because it has a very high melting point في وقت من الاوقات المحلة دي طبعا كانت جبلية وبعض الحجار اللي بيشوفها دي كانت يعني زي سائلة فهسا جمدت وبقت حجار و... وعمل الطقس برضه بغير فيها فبعدها يتكسر وبعدها لسه محافظ عليه مش شكله يعني نوعين نوع ده نوع ده نوع هو الاسود ده هو الجرانيت والنوع الثاني نوع ثاني من الحجر انا عارف شنو ده نيكست ثينج ات هابنز ذا كومز اب ات ستارتس تو جيت سوليد از ات كولز And now, the quartz, it's still liquid. It's still hot liquid. And it comes up right mm -hmm. beside it. Because mm -hmm. it, it's, as it gets shoved up through the earth, here's the granite, and the quartz comes up right beside it like this. Go ahead, Bruno. Yeah, it's called the Hayar. It's from the Hayar. It's from the Hayar. والحجر الابيض اللي جنبه ده كان كان برضه يعني سائل وهسه بيجوا مع بعض وبيتجمدوا مع بعض يعني. The reason that's important is because now you have this and this sitting side by side they're cooling at different rates. الحجر دي مهمة لأنه شنو؟ ديل هسه يعني الحجر والاسود ده اللي هو الجرانيت والجنبه ده بيتبردوا بدرجه مختلفه فدي حاجه مهمه اجو هداك اوكي اند بيكوز ذي ار كولينج ات ديفرنت ريتس ذا كوارتز فراكشرز ات كراكس بيكوز ذس ذس از غات ا ماتش هايلر هاير ميلتينج بوينت ذان ذس As this sits there and that the two things cool, this cracks and gets little lines and fissures in it. Then the next thing that comes up, being shoved up from inside the earth, is iron, and gold, and silver, and copper, and it gets shoved into the little, the little small fissures, the little small quartz. That can you read that? This. These two, these two masses are cooling at different rates. Uh huh. The giga, okay. And because they're cooling at different rates, it causes the glass to crack. Mm hmm. Okay. The the quartz. Yeah. And then now comes up the gold because the gold is still, it's got a very low melting point. Mm hmm. Okay. The gold comes up, and as the gold comes up, it it fills in the quartz. Okay. Then 
and with iron, of course, as well, okay? Then the iron, over years, it oxidizes, mm -hmm. breaks the quartz away, mm -hmm. okay? And the gold falls out in nuggets. Uh, Mustafa, do you have anything to say? أنا بس بتكلم في البداية عن إنه دي مثلاً بتكون يعني في دريت تبريد عالية حرارة عالية شديد تانية تبريد منخفضة اللي هو الكوارز ده الكوارز ده قال مهم ليه لأنه فيه أصلاً في محاليل حرمائية بتاع ماشا المحاليل دي بيكون جوا في اللي هو فيها شغوف الشغوف دي طبعاً الحديد والذهب والحياة دي بتكون خش فيها بتكون حرة هاي بداية تخش فيها هنا نتيجة الأكسدة وال يعني لما تطلع بيقوم يتحرر شنو الذهب عشان كده هي مهمة أصلاً بيجي وتتشغل نفس الكلام اللي قالوا داك أنت ترجمته كويس جداً. Now if you were to have if you were to have a piece of gold and that piece of quartz and this granite and you had a a blowtorch you know something very hot and started to heat this the first thing it would melt would be the gold then this would melt. Then this would melt, but it'd have to be so, the temperature would have to be so, so high to get this to melt. But the reason this is important <clears throat> to look for your contact zone is because a lot of times quartz will, uh, you'll see quartz by itself, not against granite. Well, what happens when quartz comes up by itself? It just sits there and cools. It doesn't develop any fractures. Mm. Okay, so that's where you see a lot of white quartz, mm. where it's just perfectly white. Now, sometimes there's gold associated with that as well. But for purposes of, of looking for good places to look for gold, if you look for this combination of the granite along with the quartz, okay, you're much more likely to find gold than if you're seeing simply white quartz without any mm. staining. Because if it's all white, there's no place for the gold to get into the quartz mm. and to later break down. Diamond, um المحلات المحتمل المح المح الاحتمال فيها كبير تلاقي فيها ذهب انه بيكون فيها آه الجرانيت ده معاه الكورتز البيضاء دي آه دي اكثر محلات محتمل تلاقي فيها ذهب ها بالوجود العنصرين دي اللي بتلاقي ان الجرانيت دي بيبقى اكبر احتمال لوجود ذهب ايوه بالذات الكوارتز بالذات يعني مش لكن الفروق بتكون حامله لما تعرف تيجي بيكون بيمشي الذهب عشان كده الناس تفتش جنب الحصات اكثر خصاصي <تصفيق> 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 طيب بس هو شايفه يتكلم عن انه لو الليله خطيت الاثنين مع بعض كده وعرفت ليه ان سخانة صخرا بالتدريج ده الصهير واحد الصهير واحد كله كله يعني ده بينصهر في نفس الدرجه ده؟ لا كله ده حسب ده في السطح قريب للسطح الكوارث ده ايوه عرفت الكوارث ده سيليكون زي الرمله دي اه لكن بس هاي الكوارث ده سيليكون عادي اللي اصلا ماده ده سيليكون بس هاي هو تقول ايوه يلا ده لكن في دريت حراره تبريد عاليه وضغط عالي بيتكون جوا يعني ده دري الحراره بتكون اقل ايوه المح... بعدين المحاليل هي اللي بتعمل الشغل بتاع الكوارتز عرفت داك مصطفى از هي وينت سكول فور جيولوجي سو هي هي هاف هاز ا وركينج نوليدج اوف ذس اكزاكتلي ذا اذر ثينج وير يو ستاندينج رايت هير لوك ات ذس ذس واز وانس ا ماونتن ذس واز ا ماونتن اتس نوت ا ماونتن اني مور But you can tell by by all the debris. This is like somebody exploded it. Water. You know, the other thing to look for is look at this. Mm. What what is this right here? This is where water runs. Okay. Okay. Gold is heavy. It goes to lower point. So, if I was going to detect, I would detect this whole area. I would detect this whole area. I would even come over. <coughs> Remember, 
Well, gold is heavy, so I like this here. I like this. I like all of this. I mean, this is just it's just perfect. Yeah, the محل دي أحسن محل للوعي حقه في الذهب. خاصة المحل الفوق دي كان عالية وبعد ذاك العامل الطقس خلاها تبقى محلة سطحية وغير كده الجدول ده دع الموية كان في موية هنا مشت فأكثر محلة ممكن أحلق فيها ذهب المحلة دي يعني قاعد فيها ذهب غالبا Look at the difference between these. عن الفرق بين الاثنين ديل. It could be very hot. Uh huh. Yes, it could be. But it's sharp. Okay. This is very round. That tells me water has been going here many, many years. This may have been one time we call an ancient river channel. Ah. دب الحجرين ديل الحجر الأملس ده بوري إنه في وقت من الأوقات المنطقة دي كانت منطقة مليانة بالموية والملوسة بتاعت الحجر ده بوري إنه الموية كانت بتضرب في الحجر ده لسنين طويلة جدا جدا فكان في موية كثيرة هنا في المحلة دي so all of this is important to look for. This is more likely you will find gold in a place like this, you know, than uh, uh, like I said where we're sitting, where we're camped at. That's good. You could find gold there as well. But I would much rather start with a place that looks like this, where I know there was a contact zone, you know, and uh, that it's all broken down. Because if there was a contact zone, there may have been gold in it, and when it broke down, the gold is still here. أو فضل المحلات زي دي أكثر المحلات اللي نحن كنا قاعدين فيها. The other thing, I've been doing this now for 17 years, so a lot of uh, a lot of what I've learned came from, I was taught by a very, very old gentleman who's been doing it almost all his life. He's dead now, mm. but uh, his name is Haas Blackman. So he taught me a lot of this, but the best teacher is when you realize that when you find an area like this and you metal detect it, you find gold, okay? When you look at an area like uh, like over where we're camped at, eh, sometimes you find gold, but you don't find gold as often as you do in an area like this. Mm. So uh, experience is, as they say, experience is the best teacher. I was a teacher for 17 years. I learned a name What's his name, Doug? Haas Blackman. His name is Haas Blackman, but he was a teacher. I learned a lot from his experience. دائما هو كان بيعلمني من المحلة زي دي دائما راح بيلقى فيها ذهب يعني.